Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video we are going to see how you can create a GIF in uh, GIMP. So um, you will say that this video is not like 100% uh, perfect and 100% impressive but at least it will uh, show you the basic concept of uh, of GIF. So uh, GIF are uh, nothing more than an image which is animated and this image is animated because it's a set of um, images which are called uh, one after the other. So um, in fact, just to give you uh, an idea, so in GIMP, you have the possibility to create uh, layers, which is the case here. So for example, I created a very uh, simple uh, drawing here. As you can see, it's just a smiley, and this smiley is just composed of three circles and one rectangle. So that was my first layer. Then after I decided, okay, what about creating another layer? So I just click on this given button, I create another layer. And um, in fact, I duplicate uh, the face uh, number one. So this well, I did it. I took the face number one, I duplicate it, and then I went on face um, on the copy face, which in fact is this one, um, which in fact is this one, and I just uh, edit it. Okay, so I just uh, went like this, and I just say, okay, I want to remove a bit of the smile over here, and I want as well to remove a bit of uh, a bit of the eyes. Okay, so like uh, like this. So that that's how I ended up with um, face number two that uh, you can see uh, over here. Just gonna delete this one, and I did the same thing in fact for um, face number three. So I take face number two. I could even take face number one, and I reduced it, and I took and then as well um, the same thing for face number four. So the idea for me was to create a GIF, uh, which uh, look like uh, a smiley, which is uh, which is kissing. So that's uh, that's how I did it. So I made um, a smiley with uh, with four layers. And then I click here on file, and when I click on file, I click on export as. And on export as, I selected the GIF uh, format, and then here I select file type, and I just make it as a, as a GIF, okay? And then when you click here on export, it's going to ask you, oh, so in my case, I'm just going to, um, so I'm just going to do it like this, so test one. GIF export and it's going to tell me okay you want to create a GIF uh, so it's going to be uh, do you want I mean to create an animation and of course you need to tick this one and then it's going to tell you okay do you want this animation to uh, keep forever so to loop forever so to have actually the animation keep going and then uh, what is the uh, frequency at which you would like to change uh, one layer to the other one so uh, you can uh, let the one at uh, 100 milliseconds uh, and if you export it like this you will uh, get in fact uh, at the end your uh, your GIF file so I can just uh, double click on it and this is how my uh, GIF will uh, will look like so as you can see it's uh, it's doing what I uh, what I what I wanted so uh, a smiley which is uh, which is kissing and of course uh, from time to time uh, you may be interested in uh, improving it so for example uh, the first uh, that I issued was probably this one um, and uh, yeah as you can see uh, so this one looks quite nice actually uh, maybe I got yeah so I tested for example the different uh, frequency so for example I found it uh, before it was a bit too fast I wanted to know uh, what it would look like if I slow down it a little bit and here I can find that uh, when I slow it down a bit it's uh, it's a bit ugly and then I tried some other uh, some other combinations such as the one that that you can see here so the thing that you need to uh, to know is that uh, your GIF will look better if you have uh, more layers. Uh, so in fact, the more layers the, you add, then the easier, I mean, the, the fancier it will be. Um, so of course, you need to have your layers in the right uh, sequence. You can always, uh, let's say, copy uh, some layer in order to be able uh, to just edit some part of the next layer in order to make it uh, faster. Uh, you can easy move from one layer to the other one in order to easily uh, adjust uh, them. And that's uh, probably what you need to, to know from here. And then at the end, you just file export and you export it as a zip, as a GIF, and then uh, you have it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.